Hello and welcome to round 11 of the TRR 2020 Championship. I'm TCP and I'll be streaming the duration of this race. Uh, tonight we have the FZR at AS5 for two eight lap races. The second race will of course be a reverse grid, full reverse grid. There are currently 45 drivers on the server, absolutely mega uh, attendance today. So we will see how this goes because there are only 40 grid slots. So drivers may end up being sent out um, one by one. We don't know how, what's going to go down, so we'll just have to play it by ear. Uh, we've got new grid slots being added. Uh, so yeah, just a little bit of a delay expected at the beginning of this session before we get going. Uh, but anyway, we will head to the track and see what's going on in just a moment.
Okay, so unfortunately it looks like LFS TV Director has given up, so we're going to be running the stream from uh, using the regular LFS controls for this one, so we'll just go ahead and see where everyone's got up to. Uh, a couple of drivers have already started their hot laps, um, as you can see from the minimap. We have a few drivers just approaching the last few corners here. Uh, TJ is the first guy. Uh, who's going to be setting a lap. Um, I'll try and get TV Director to work for the uh, race. I'm sorry about that not working for qualifying. Not sure why it's not working. Uh, it works in replays, but apparently it doesn't like AS5 tonight. So I'll work that out between qualifying and the race. Here comes TJ then. Working his way across start finish. And he will set the first lap time of the session, which is a 2.39.8, which is a kind of an average lap. Um, Z-Band straight in with a 37.9. That is absolutely mega. What a lap from Z-Band there. Uh, that, is, that is the fastest lap I've seen in anyone doing practice uh, today. Uh, really impressive. Another driver who is impressive in, uh, in practice is Pedro, who's on the screen right now. He's about to come across the line to set his first time lap. Adam goes second with a 2.39.2. Jake Tiller currently third with a 2.39.5. Drivers are looking to get into the mid 38s really, but Zeban with an absolute stormer of 2.37.9. That is really, really quick. Um, that's going to take some beating. I will go out on a limb and say I think we've found our pole time very early in this session. I say early, there's only 13 minutes left. It's a three minute outlap because you really have to look after your tyres on your outlap. We're watching Race Green Mandula. Kryn moving out of the way. Mandula's coming round to the last corner. Uh, if Crinton's just about to start a lap, we'll go on board with him for his next lap so we can show you guys one lap of the AS5 track. Here comes Mandula. Across the line with a 2.41.4, which puts him 16th currently. So let's go on board with Crinton as he winds himself up for a lap. Oh no, he's just leaving the pits now, so he's already bailed on that attempt. Uh, who else is on a lap? Let's have a look. Um, someone's just started lap. Uh, Pete Koivinen. Let's go on board with Koivinen. So he's just come round turn one, and now he's got a couple of little curves to navigate before he hits the brakes for turn two. He'll drop it down two gears, sorry four gears, to second for the hairpin. You want to make sure you don't get any slide around here and then set, steady on the throttle out of the corner and same again for here, down one gear to second and then gradually pick up the throttle, no slide, out onto the curb on the exit and wind it up for the back straight. We're approaching halfway in the qualifying session. I reckon drivers have got enough time for two flying laps, one out lap, one hot lap, one out lap, one hot lap in that time. So anyone who's currently on a lap might get three. As Rocky moves out of the way of Koivinen as he comes down to the hairpin at the end of the back straight section. As he enters the sweeps, really tricky section this in the FZR. You want to maintain as much speed without sliding as possible. Um, because any time you spend sideways is time you spend going slowly. He'll drop it down to fourth gear for this quick left. Picks up the power quite late. And then it'll be up to fifth again for this sweeping corner. He loses the back end quite dramatically. Has to delay changing up to fifth because of his la lack of traction out there. So this won't be a particularly stunning lap, Koivinen. He was doing some decent times in practice, so hopefully he will find some uh, find some chill and do a good lap on his next attempt. 
bit of traffic to navigate here, they're all moving out of the way nicely. Second gear hairpin, want to get it nice down to the apex, not sliding on the exit really nice. Then it's about spotting the brakes, not getting too much slide on the edge into the final chicane. Koivinen stays in fourth, he tend to use third for this, but he stayed in fourth. Nice and smooth, taking plenty of kerb as you need to. And then it's just the run up to the line. Koivinen sets a 240.55, which is good enough for 13th, so solidly mid pack for Koivinen. Uh, he is not using a race set, so he will probably just practice turn one and then spectate. Let's see if we can find someone else to go on board with then. Uh, who's just started lap? Here we go. Who's that? That is Mega. He's just set a lap. Um, Penn's just set a lap. Right, here we go. Here's Kryn. So Kryn's about to start a lap then. Uh, where's Kryn currently? Kryn has yet to set a time by the looks of it, so he's left it quite late to make an effort for qualifying. Uh, only nine minutes remaining in the session, enough for Kryn to complete this lap and one more if he gets on with it. Um, so here he comes then, he's got a little bit of traffic to deal with. Uh, Upsas is on a lap, he's currently fourth. Uh, Kryn needs to get a clean lap in here, Upsas is, no, Upsas is still motoring. I oh know he is lifting up a bit, so hopefully he lets Kryn through. He does, into the hairpin. Kryn runs a bit deep and, oh, nearly contact with Upsas there. Uh, Upsas's number plate is oops. That was a big oops. Kryn, nice and steady. That's a lot of slide on the exit there. That will have slowed him down a bit. Now he makes his, makes his way onto the back straight. Let's go on board. As he makes his way through this really tricky left-right section, halfway around the back straight complex. Two gears, not much commitment. This is a good smooth lap from Kryn. The first sector time was quite leisurely, you have to say. A 45-2 is not going to put him at the top of the grid at this point. No one's even close to Z-Ban right now. Uh, the closest driver to Z-Ban is Jay Cotilla with the 38-7, or a 38-6-9. Uh, Adam in third place, over a second away from Zeban. So Zeban has absolutely pulled it out of the hat here and has done one flying lap and said, that's enough. I'll take pole, thank you very much. That lap time is going to be very hard to beat. Uh, what a showing we've got today. 37 drivers currently set a lap. Kryn yet to set a lap, so we're looking at a 40 car grid here today, which it's going to be amazing because uh, it's been a little bit of a break since we had uh, a fair bit of time since we've had a full grid at TRR uh, in the championship. So, a bit of slide, not clean at all into the last hairpin, but manages to sort it out in the end. Adam's demoted to third, Pedro's gone up to third. Uh, through the last sector goes Kryn all over the place uh, from Kryn here. Second sector was a 153.4, so I'm going to guess he's been in the 20s here. Uh, Kryn goes... where does Kryn go? Where did that put him? Uh, that put Kryn 21st, so yeah, just inside the 20s with that one. Here we go, Mandula again. Uh, let's see what Frank's up to. Frank's currently in... 18th place, so just inside the top 20. He's on another lap, and he's completely... Ooh, he managed to get it slowed down. It looked like a heck of a lockup going in there. 44.8, uh, that's a pretty decent split time. So let's see what Frank can convert this into. Nice smooth exit from Frank. Ooh, bit of grass actually on the uh, latter part of that. Frank has changed teams. Uh, 10 rounds into this season, Frank has changed from 6-speed to RDSR. So he'll be driving for Red Devil Racing for the remainder of the season, I expect, unless he decides to change every few rounds. Paulson, Thomas Paulson moves out of the way. Uh, next up is Gabor. Uh, it looks like Frank's thrown a bit of time away, but we will see how he gets on with the remainder of this lap. Z-Band's gap at the top still sitting at around 7 tenths per second. No one is even close 
still uh, as we drop into coming up to five minutes remaining in qualifying. Let's see what Frank's sector time is. He'll get it just as he rounds this next bend. Just on the exit of 52.7. So this is... Um, it's, not, it's not fantastic, but it's going to hopefully be an improvement for him. Approaches the last big hairpin, huge front lock up there, but manages to get it just about turned in. Yep, good. And just the final chicane to go then. And we'll see what Frank ends up with here. Cuts the chicane massively, avoids the tyres on the exit. And it's just a run to start finish. What's it going to be for Frank? It is an improvement. Frank goes up to 10th. Well done. 39.9 so just inside the 2 minute 40 bracket Frank will go out for another lap Cyan, we haven't seen Cyan in this championship so far I don't think uh, so he's a new driver, we have got 40 cars trying to do laps here I imagine there are a couple who are sat in spectate who just weren't able to make the grid um Here's Ben. Ben will be overtaking Roni. Yep. Uh, see where Rick is. How's Rick doing? Rick's in the top 10. Rick is 8th presently. Uh, Ayub is just ahead of him. TJ just behind. Uh, Frank's still in 10th. Gabor outside the top 10. Not often we see that. Gabor's just at the head of this little train here. Your knight gets out of the way of Rick on this hot lap. Uh, drivers have got about, I would say, 20 seconds to leave the pits. You have to do a very slow outlap if you're running R2s uh, on your car for this. So if you want to get a full slow outlap in and have prime tyres for your hot lap, you need to be thinking about leaving the pits right now. So if you're on a bad lap and you think you can do better, get out, get back to the pits, get out on a fresh set of tyres and wind up for another lap. As the clock ticks down, under the three minute mark, few seconds remaining before everyone will be on their final attempt or about to start their final attempt yep if you leave the pit lane now you will no longer be able to set a lap that's it Rick's first sector was really good 44 6 just needs to make sure the rest of his laps great the first sector is particularly tricky with those two hairpins a lot can go very wrong this next section, the sweeps, is very much about having the car in the right position so that you don't lose time up this hill at the end. 52.01, that's good, so that's better than Frank's split by quite some margin. So let's see where this puts Rick at the end of his lap if he gets the hairpin and the chicane right. Will he get a bit of slipstream off of the car ahead? I don't think so. Who is the car ahead anyway? Let's have a look. Uh, can't find out for you just now. Might be about to start a lap, who knows. But anyway, Rick rounds the last corner. It's Gabor. Gabor's 12th now. TJ. Uh, TJ's entered the fray. Uh, Reject and Ayub are right next to each other. In 7th and 8th currently. Here comes Rick out of the final chicane. Does brush the tyres. That won't slow him down that much. I mean, it will certainly not help. But let's see what Rick manages. Rick improves to 8th. That was a good lap from Rick there. So anyone who is currently on track will be winding up for their hot lap. There's one minute 20 left in the session. Frank's starting another attempt. Uh, TJ, currently in 11th. So was pushed out of the top 10 by Rick when he just set that lap before. Very, very few cars out on circuit. Let's swatch uh, who's going to be first across the line. Well, TJ's going to be the last car on track, I think. He's got a minute to get past start finish. Uh, here we've got Trespasser. He's on a lap. 45-1 first sector, so not good from Trespasser. Easily half a second off what he wants. Uh, he's currently in fifth, so he's right at the front of this uh, 40 car grid, which is where you want to be, so not too bad from him. Um, if Zeban can get a clean getaway, he is going to walk away with this at this point, unless he's not that great in the race trim. 
Having said that, Pedro has just gone second. He's closed the gap to Zeban by, well, down to four tenths of a second. So, really impressive time. Um, really impressive, actually. Uh, fair play to Pedro for getting close. Zeban's on a higher plane than everybody uh, here today. Uh, 1.53.1 from Trespasser. He's going to be really not happy with that. He'll just finish the lap or bail. Uh, that's not going to be an improvement for him, unfortunately. Um, oh, mind you, he has done a 39.2 as his best lap. So this... I mean, he'll be pushing it. Adam and Trespasser currently have exactly the same lap time. So Trespasser may as well finish this and see what he can make of the last couple of corners. It's actually a pretty decent hairpin. So maybe I shouldn't have written him off so soon. That second split wasn't great, but I didn't realise that he hasn't managed to set a particularly representative time yet in this session. Remember, Trespass uses mouse. Uh, this car is difficult at the best of times, let alone trying to do it with mouse. Let's see how he manages. Is it an improvement? It is not. It's a second slower than he was, so he'll be gutted with that, I think. Uh, Firexter. Not seen him in a long time. Um, yeah, really old name. Anyway, he comes out of the last corner, he's on his third lap, so must be doing some race practice or doing some qualifying on his race set, who knows. Uh, he crosses the line and he stays 23rd. Jake Tillis pulled up, here comes Sky, Sky's on a practice lap, Texas is on a lap, I think, yeah, he's registered a split time, a 44.8. Texas currently down in 35th. Forty-four eight is a good good first sector, but you can come quite undone quite quickly in the rest of the lap. So let's see how he does. Um, oh, very delicate, very patient through there. So maybe he he's learnt the first sector pretty well, got that down, but hasn't really had much time to learn the middle and third sector. Let's see what his second split is. Big lift around this. It should be flat, that corner. 53.4, so that's slower than Trespasser currently. So this will be mid-40s. If he can finish the lap well, this will still be an improvement for him. Uh, he'll be looking at the 140 highs, 141 lows, if he can keep the speed up. Just one hairpin to go. Gets the car slowed. Nice exit. Just the head, just the chicane. Very deep. He's gone way too deep. He's had to compromise his entry. That'll compromise his exit. It looked so promising in the beginning, but this will be maybe a 42. It might be an improvement still. Let's see. Now he's lifted off. He's bailed. He should have kept it pinned. Unless he's run out of fuel. 43.3. So yeah, um, only half a second slower than his best time. Uh, oh. Not, not fantastic. Anyway, people are bunching up. They're going to go out and do some practice. I'm going to try and fix TV director. Uh, I will be back for the start of the race.
We are back in business. Thank goodness for that. Right, so let's head back to the track very briefly um, and run you down the championship order while we get ready for the start of the race. So, um, it's not like we're going to have time. Uh, no, that was just a driver spectating. I think, yes, it was. All right, so we have in the team's championship, Yes Motorsport out front followed by Nordic Racing Team, Team Rock Racing, World Class Lions, Road Appraiser Racing Team and Master Race Car with Race Green Autosports following by close behind. Uh, yes Motorsport have opened the gap by 50 points ahead of NRT at the top of the table and then it's a similar story to previous rounds, a uh, bit of a drop off uh, further behind. TRR and World Class Lions still very very close to one another, only 13 points separating third and fourth in the championship. Let's skip forward to the driver standings uh, then shall we. Um, Gabor for Yes Motorsport currently leading the way with Nico Pantola, his teammate, in second. Yes Unite. Bit of a gap opening up there. Only, well, only eight points in it. But anyway, then it's Tom Salmon and 60 points behind that with uh, for NRT. Then TRR's Jan Bukowski with 584 points. Silver very, very close behind him. Just two points in it uh, for... Uh, NRT, Michael Malik from MRC, then it's Rick Cardle from Sidus, Gavin Pete from NRT, Yari Katilla from World Class Lions, and AU from Born to Race is in 10th position in the championship currently. Just to remind you that this series is sponsored by Cheer Lover 7 and M Details. The servers are powered by TC Gaming, and you can get involved on the LFS forum. The series runs all year long, Tuesday nights from 8 pm GMT or 9 o'clock in Central Europe. Everyone's welcome. Some great racing to be had, uh, if not a bit chaotic at times, but who doesn't love a bit of chaos? Uh, the first race will be regular direction based on the results of qualifying, and then there'll be a reverse grid race where the total grid is flipped on its end, and the person who wins starts at the back, and the person who came last starts on pole position. It's a lot of fun. There are good prizes. Get involved and hopefully today is a good one so let's head to the track and just see what the hold up is before the start of the race hopefully we can get going um adam's on his roof in the last corner this bodes well here we go then for the start of the race race one round 11 drivers are all getting ready to shoot off down to turn one there's 40 of them today Zeban, after an absolutely heroic qualifying session, will start on pole position. We're going to see the lights coming on as the driver in fourth place has... Ah, Adam comes back. There we go. Nice. Fifth place, sorry. One light, two light, three lights. Two lights, in fact. Green, Zeban leads the field away then for the first time. got away fairly cleanly uh, doesn't seem like there's any problems in the back yet uh, we've got Katilla making a move around the outside he's made it stick so far Zeban leads the way it's all been clean in the middle it is clean so far in the back very nice guys very nice uh, Katilla leads the way up to turn two with Zeban all over him Makes the move stick into turn two. That was a nice move. Apologies for the camera work there. Uh, bit of a rush to get this ready. Uh, Katilla back down to second place, being a bit of contact with Adam. Adam's made it up to third. Uh, they all sort, it, sort themselves out and get onto the back straight. We've got someone in the gravel. We've got a whole bunch of cars in trouble at the chicane. We've got Roni involved uh, in that. Uh, a few more drivers in the wall at the back, but otherwise, pretty decent getaway. Yeah, I mean, quite a lot of cars, I think, involved in this now. There's a bit of a bit of a uh, two 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 packs forming. Zeban has broken away a little bit, followed by Jay Catilla. There's a move in the background. That'll be Pedro versus TJ. Teammates contact, and they've taken each other out. That's not what you want to see between teammates. That wasn't a teammate. That was Upsas. My mistake. I was Upsas versus one of the Road Appraiser guys. Uh, 
the Trespass is now in a battle with Rick Cardle. And there's contact again with Unite. Uh, yes, Motorsport getting their elbows out today as we've got a move behind between GP and Gabor. I really like the uh, uh, the Yes Motorsport skins uh, today. They are really nice. The kind of Sca uh, Scavia Solutions uh, LFS sponsors skin that they've, they're running. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, so this is this is the battle for 10th place between Silver and Gabor, and also involved in there is G Pete, as I mentioned before. The two Yes Motorsport teammates. Uh, as Gabor runs really wide, uh, drops down to 11th. He's now got Gemini to contend with. Up front, Zeban about to complete lap one. He'll be followed by Jay Catilla, then Adam, then it'll be TJ, Upsus, Trespasser, then it's Rick Cardle. There's a bit of a gap to Unite, who's defending from GP, so trying to break that toe. This is what it looks like from GP's perspective. bit too far away to make any use of the toe just yet but anyway uh, Silver's actually closing quite right up to the back of his teammate here this is what it looks like from on board Silver's car tries to get the power down out of the last corner this is the battle for 10th place Gabor's all over the back of him now so this is quite a close group Gabor is gonna go for this he's gonna go for the move he moves to the outside Can't quite make the move stick, he'll have to try it somewhere else. Now he's under threat from Gemini. He lives to fight another day, he's uh, all over the back of Gabor, uh, all over the back of Silver once more. He goes for the inside for the next bend, that's a risky move. He makes it stick, that's a nice pass up to 10th for Gabor again. Now he needs to break that toe through the sweeps and try and catch up to Gavin. There's quite some pack racing going on in the background here. Uh, this is quite right the way down the field. We've got Catilla, we've got Ben, uh, we've got Mega and uh, three ski mass. Eskimas, not sure how that's supposed to be pronounced. Anyway, car number 99, uh, side by side with Cyan. Cyan going for the move uh, on Kryn behind. So, Kryn, Texas, and Elmo. This is brilliant, this is fantastic. We've still got 40 runners. Yes, there was a bit of incident at the beginning, but there's plenty going on, plenty of great action to show. Elmo's going to be wanting to make a move here on Thomas Paulson from NRT. Where's he going to go? Is he going to go around the inside? Is he going to go around the outside? Is he going to do the switchback? He's stuck to the outside. See if he tries to make the switchback work. Doesn't work in this case, but anyway, nice try. On to the next one. Zeban crosses the line to start lap three. Uh, Jay Cotilla follows him, then it's Adam. TJ works his way past, then it's Upsas, Trespasser, Rick Cardle, Unite, Gabor. Still really close together, these guys. Uh, he's side by side now with uh, GP, so he's making the move into turn one. Not quite, doesn't quite manage it. Gemini, meanwhile, has managed to get past Silver, so Gemini into 11th, Silver down to 12th. Here goes Gabor then on the charge. Is he going to drop, drop into the slipstream? He is in the slipstream. The move will be on into turn two between Gabor and GP. He moves to the outside, doesn't go for the switchback. And he makes the move stick round the outside. GP will have a go up the inside again. And yep, sure enough, side by side again into hairpin two. GP on the outside, which is good for the exit. And now Gemini is all over the back of Gabor. It's a three-way fight for ninth place at the moment with Silver waiting in the wings behind for all the action to unfold. Gemini's lost the toe a bit but Gabor's back in the toe, he's not giving up as he flies past GP into the braking zone, he makes it stick this time. 
hopefully. I've said that before. Nope. Yep. Let's see if Pete will go back for the move into the hairpin. There are a lot of sides. There's contact. G Pete's been forced out wide. Gemini will take full advantage of that and moves past. So now Silver's turn to try and get on the rear of his teammate. So uh, G Pete side by side with uh, Kapoor there, losing two positions in as many corners. Seaban has a pretty big gap uh, over Katilla, um, but it's he's not letting him run away just yet. There's still five laps to go. Uh, Adam is in the mix as well. He's got TJ for company, so this is the battle for the podium between uh, TJ uh, from Road Appraiser and Adam from TC Racing. TJ looks like he's getting very close into the braking zone. Let's see what goes on here. Oh, he sends it quite late. Adam does not give him any room at all. Doesn't have to, but side by side they will be down towards the chicane. Adam on the inside, which is the favoured position for the entry. TJ all over his rear bumper. Let's see how this goes. Into the tyres. TJ with a terrible exit. He could be under threat from Upsas by the end of the straight. Let's see how Upsas got on out of the exit. It looks okay. Doesn't look like he's gained all that much, so TJ might be lucky for another lap. It's a big gap back to this battle now between uh, Trespasser and Rick Cardell. So Rick all over the back of Trespasser now. Moves to the inside, up towards turn one. Fantastic racing up and down the grid from everyone involved here today. This is great to see. Rick moves to the outside. Trespasser's trying to cut back. Here comes Trespasser, up to turn two. AS5 does make for some great racing, doesn't it? Trespasser will be on the outside. No, there's a switch back. They're all over each other. Rick's going to go for the dive, is he? No, he falls into line behind and we'll have to try it on the next straight. Here he goes. No, bit of a slide. There's work going on behind, but we're going to stay with this battle. Contact. Trespasser a bit cheeky there. Rick gets masses of slide on. And that battle's going to keep going on. What have we got going on behind? So Gabor is still ahead of Gemini, but now uh, Pedro has managed to get past uh, Silver and is now on the back of GP. Now, Pedro qualified second. I'm not quite sure what happened to him, uh, whether he's uh, crashed out and dropped down the order. But anyway, he's now making his way back up. We will find out what happened to him uh, after this race, I'm sure. Pedro up to 11th place then, just outside the top 10 two NRT teammates fall back in line in 12th and 13th. Gustas, not heard from him in a while. He's down in 14th, minding his own business, but he's still on the back of this little group here, so anything that happens above, he can make full use of that. Then we've got Race Green Mandula with uh, Erotica, who, uh, if you remember back to the uh, endurance race we hosted, or TRR hosted uh, a few weeks back. Uh, Erotica was involved in that, the Kyoto uh, KY3B race uh, in the GT2s. Then it's Mega and Ben from TRR. Then it's Iskimas, who is in a battle with Science still. This has been going on the whole race. Uh, five laps to go. These guys are still going at it. Classic watches on. Then it's Elmo in 22nd place, so he's made up a fair bit from the start. Then it's Texas, followed by Crin, his teammate. Then it's Race Green Magic, and then RDSR Frank. So switching from 6 speed to RDSR, not going so well for Frank right now. Uh, he is in a fight with NRC Thomas Paulson. As Frank's teammate, uh, Sky, goes very wide there um, in the hairpin. It's three wide behind between Soiny. Uh, reject and energy. So he opts to get out of the way of those guys and just let them kind of sort themselves out. Who's that going backwards in the chicane? Uh, who was that going backwards in the chicane? Let's have a look. It was Classic. So Classic's had a moment uh, with someone there and he will end up in 33rd position as a result. This is Michael. Michael Malak from MRC with a bit of a battered car. He must have been caught up in the start incident. He'll be working his way back through. He's just overtaken energy for 31st position. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on at the back. Uh, Firexter 
also involved in that first lap incident at the chicane after turn three. Uh, he's done in 34th. J.A. Cotilla, 35th. Rocky, 36th. Roney in 37th. Uh, P. Coyvan for WCL in 38th. And Ayub, who's been down the pit lane already. So has Roney. Uh, down in 39th. We have lost a driver. Not sure who that is, but we have lost a driver. We're down to 39 runners. Z-Ban, huge lead now over Cotilla. It's opening up every lap. Then there's an even bigger gap back to TJ in third. He must have, yeah, he's dispatched with Adam. And now Adam is under threat from the yes teammates. Unite will be first. And then it'll be Upsus. So these two are squabbling amongst themselves while Adam is just kind of minding his own business. Uh, the S teammates do not want to be in a fight with each other. Oops, S has just moved past Adam, so maybe they're giving it a go and then switching back. Who knows? Anyway, Oops, S gives a little bit of lift. He must have been in the aero of Adam. Adam was very wide. Is Adam having tyre trouble? Maybe incorrect assessment choice. Who knows? Uh, sounds like Unite's having to go at Oops, S. Yep, they're side by side. So the teammates are squabbling. Um, no, in, no team orders here then. Uh, Adam will be wanting them two to fight. Let's not be, uh, let's not kill ourselves. Um, but for that team, they need to start pushing forward. They need to get past Adam. Adam currently holds fourth position. So if yes, want to get onto the podium, they need to get past Adam and then catch up to TJ, which is a tall order with three laps to go in race one. And what a race it's been so far. Here comes Upsas. He's lining up Unite, who's also lining up Adam. There's going to be a three-way fight into turn one. Let's not miss this. Adam on the inside. Upsas in the middle. Unite switches back. Upsas is passed. Will Unite follow his teammate through? No. So Unite has to wait. Ooh, gets very sideways. Unite will have to be patient, and he'll have to line up Adam into turn two. Adam covers the inside very badly there. Let's Unite slip past. And it will be now, those two will be side by side into the hairpin. So Adam on the inside, Unite on the outside. Adam goes late on the brakes and he's up the inside still. Unite gets a bit of a wobble on the exit. He's now on the outside. Will he try the switch back? He does. Here he comes. So it's going to be another drag race. On board with, yes, Unite down in sixth. His teammate Upsas is running away ahead now, look. Here comes Unite. More grip. Adam must have absolutely ruined his tyres or something. Uh, he's gone backwards in this race from where he started. Made it up to third and has dropped down a bit. Gets a bit of grass on the exit, uh, but he's not going to be close enough to make a return move on Unite. Meanwhile, in the background, we've got a long train for me. We've got Rick Cardle followed by Gabor, Gemini, Pedro, Trespasser, GP, Silver. All the way down to 13th position then. Uh, Rick leading the head of this little pack, um, followed by Gabor and Gemini. Let's go on board with Gemini as he follows Gabor up the hill. Gemini with a bit of damage on his car. Must have been into the rear of somebody. Um, Gabor gets a bit wide. Gemini needs to get a good exit out of here and try and hook into that slipstream up the hill. He has to lift a bit because of the aerodrop. Air that flows over the top of these cars generates quite a lot of aerodynamic loss over the car behind. So that's why the gap kind of seems to open up, but it will all concertina back up when the draft takes effect down the straights. Pedro sits in behind Gemini, Trespasser behind him. GP and Silver still very close together, but unable to make any sort of impact on this little group that just seem to be hanging around at the back of it just now. Uh, Gustas has dropped off the back of them though, so Gustas not able to uh, get involved. He's just kind of watching those guys drift off into the distance. Zeban already up to turn one. This is incredible, um, the pace and consistency of Zeban then. Uh, Jay Cotilla keeping, keeping him honest in second position. TJ from Road Appraiser in third. Then it's the, Ups uh, the Yes Motorsport duo of Upsas and Unite who have dispatched with Adam, and Adam currently holds onto 6th position. Rick and Gabor come round turn 1, followed by Gemini, Pedro, Trespasser, G. Pete and Silver. G. Pete has caught up to the back of Trespasser, Trespasser goes wide! Oh, 
Oh, our GP has to slam on the brakes. That's not a good idea. He should have just tried to find some room. He's uh, he's going to be under threat by his teammate now, I'm sure. Yep, Silva is in this action. Oh, keep it clean. Three wide. Trespasser. Oh, okay. Wow, Silva, nearly the hero there, going from the back to the front of this trio, has to settle for the back again. The contact between uh, GP and Trespasser. They won't want to be causing any each other, uh, giving each other penalties or protests, so decides to file back in line. But here we go, let's watch on board from Silver as this battle unfolds. Silver's going to go, he's surely not going to make it three wide. No, he has to sit behind as he just watches this unfold. GP on the inside, Trespasser on the outside. GP makes the move around the outside, but then runs out of grip on the outside, and Trespasser's back in the lead. Is Silver going to go for a lunch on his teammate? Nope, decides better of it. Silver still following. Uh, sorry, GP still following Trespasser. Trespasser's got a bit of breathing room now. But all the while, these guys are slowing each other down. And going forward in this race is going to be especially hard now, considering we only have two laps to go. Um, remember, this is about a 2 minute 40 lap. About 2 minute 37 was our pole time. So quite a long race uh, in the scheme of this series. We're used to shorter races, uh, but I am not complaining. This has been an excellent race up and down the field from everybody. Uh, this battle has neutralised itself, so let's go and have a look at what Z-Band's up to. Let's go on board for a lap with Z-Band. Out of the last corner, out of the last chicane he comes, and he's heading the overstart finish for what will be his penultimate lap in race one of round 11 of the TRR 2020 Championship. Nope, this isn't the penultimate lap. That was his penultimate lap. This is now the last lap. I'm very good at this. Down two gears for turn one. Straight back on the power. Feed it out to the edge of the track. Don't want to be too greedy because you will just drop a wheel and that'll be a race over into the grass. I'm keeping an eye on the battles behind uh, in case we have to cut away, but we'll stay with Z-Man for now. Bit of a lock up into the hairpin, but no matter. Oh, things are getting spicy in the background. We'll come back to Z-Man at the end. We have a uh, battle on between GP and Trespasser now. So GP in the draft. This is the battle for 11th place. GP moves to the outside. Trespasser on the inside. Let's see this from the outboard shot. Trespasser's managed to go quite late on the brakes there. And will maintain the position for the corner, but GP's going to have the exit. Oh, nearly. Wow, that was close. Trespasser still leading. GP's going to have another two attempts to get past if he plays his cards right. So here he goes again. Drag racing. Down the back straight. Trespasser is defending for his life here. Really good effort by Trespasser. GP's been all over him for the last three laps, if not more. Trespasser still on the inside just. GP sweeps around. Now it's Trespasser's turn to see if he's got any sort of response. Doesn't look like it. Uh, GP made a... That was a really good, really good move by GP there. Um, don't think he's going to have any sort of response. No, washing wide. His tyres are gone. Um, yeah, he's been defending so hard that he's had to... Be focusing in his rear view mirror, so maybe he couldn't focus ahead, and now it's all over for him. Uh, Zivan coming around the last couple of corners to claim an emphatic win uh, in the FZR at Aston Grand Prix. Absolutely brilliant combination, this in LFS. Really, really technical. Great car, great track. He enters the chicane for the last time in this race. He'll be doing it eight more times in the next one, hopefully. And Zivan comes across the line to claim victory in race one of round 11 of the TRR 2020 Championship, followed by Jay Cotilla. Well done to WCL. Next, it will be TJ from Road Appraiser to claim the third spot on the podium, followed by the Yes Motorsport duo of Upsas and Unite, fourth and fifth. Adam dropped off the pace a little bit, but he will finish 6th, he'll be quite happy with that I expect. Then it's Rick Cardlin 7th, followed by Pedro from Road Appraiser, Gemini and Gabor side by side across the line. Who got that? Uh, I'm seeing Gemini is winning that battle. 
Then it was GP, Trespasser, Silver, Gustas, Mandula. Then it's going to be Erotica and Mega, who is still fighting Cyan. So Cyan and Mega still going at it. Um, Mega claims it just over the line. Good battle from those two. Really nice racing. Uh, Reject will cross the line in 17th. Then it's Ben. Uh, sorry, Ben will be in 20th. Then it'll be Elmo just behind him in 21st. Then we've got Thomas Paulson crossing the line with Sky and Sig 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 uh, Simjintas behind him. Then it's Michael Malek and Energy. Born to race Ivor with Catilla and Frank. Then we've got Soini, Classic, Magic, Firexter. Firexter down in 34th. Then it's Kryn who will round the last corner and head up to start finish to claim 35th. Then it's Roni, 36th. P. Koivinen, 37th. Rocky will take 38th. And then it's Ayub, as Rocky does a very flamboyant finish. I hope he actually crossed the line. Did he? Yes, he just about crossed the line. And Ayub is our last finisher. 39 out of 40 cars finished the race. Um, not sh I can't remember who, who we lost. Obviously, there's 40 names on this grid. Um, but a really nice race. It's a shame about the uh, drama on the first lap. It was a really clean first and second corner and then it all kind of came undone in the third corner. Cars off everywhere in the gravel trap, uh, shaking things up a little further down the order. But nevertheless, that was actually fantastic racing. Um, huge, huge field, 40 cars, fantastic. Great to see this activity in LFS. Um, Obviously, probably helped a bit by the fact that everyone's quarantined at home recently, but nevertheless, can't take it away from the guys. That was actually epic. Um, so yeah, the second race coming up in just a moment. We're gonna have a word with Silver. Hi, Silver. Hi. How was your uh, race? It looked very, very entertaining from where I was sitting. <laughs> I'm sweaty. Uh... No, oh, that was intense. It's fast cars and it's hard to... Yeah, you were fighting with avoid. your teammate and uh, was it Trespasser at the end? Yeah, yeah. You, Gavin yeah. and Trespasser were fighting for pretty much the whole race. Um, unfortunately, you were kind of just sat at the back of that trio and couldn't really make it stick at the end. Gavin managed to get past Trespasser. Uh, so that's good. But yes, Motorsport had two drivers quite high up in this race and you weren't quite able to keep them behind you. So crucial points going away to them but you've got it you know it's a long you know it's a long season you're still you're still in there you're still second place in the championship um what's what's uh, what's your thoughts on the next race and next round what what, what are you thinking no nah, but to be honest this this uh, combo i have said it so many times now but this combo doesn't fit any of us uh, that good but we are still close to top 10 in these races so that's good but well, you wouldn't we, know that it didn't suit you because you've still got a very solid result uh, out of it. So, yeah, yeah, but that have happened like almost every time when we when I said it. But it's it's combos that are really hard for us, and it's long racing, and it's you can see that in the top they're just flying away. So we just need to try to focus and try to gain as many points as we can, and that's what we tried to do on the last lap there. I tried to get trespasser at the end, but. I wanted to back off instead of crashing, so we're just trying to gain as much points as we can, and we we will try to beat them when we found find a track and car that fits us really well. Yeah, I mean, you did mention a few rounds ago that there's another rallycross round coming up for you that you guys are looking forward to at uh, FE5. So there's that one to look forward to. But yeah, maybe. Maybe you guys need to just put a bit more practice in at these combos that you're not that familiar with and just uh, work as a team to try and close that gap to Yes Motorsport, who are very, very, very good at road racing. Um, your thoughts on that? I have 41 laps combined now, and that have only been today. I had zero laps before I started today. This is what I mean, you need to put more practice in <laughs> if you want to be at the front of this uh, series. I know it's pickup racing and you only have a week to prepare, but yeah, if, yeah. You wanna, if you want to win the championship, it's going to take some special effort to uh, overthrow the likes of Unite, Upsass, 
uh, Gabor and Co because they are very strong uh, at every single combo that you throw at them. So it's all well and good having a speciality in LFS, but this series will favour the team and the drivers that have a uh, well-rounded uh, set of skills. Um, thanks for talking to us. Uh, do you know what the word is on when the next race will start? Uh, 10 hour. So in four minutes. In four minutes. Okay, so cool. Um, yeah, so where are you? you'll be starting quite the way down. You'll be maybe around the low 20s, starting in the low 20s. Sorry, the high 20s, in fact. Maybe around 26th, 27th position uh, in the next race. That's probably quite a scary number for you. We we started, I started down in 19th place, so I got a few positions in the first lap there, so we will try to do the same now and and try to hold the yes guys behind us. We'll see. Maybe it works out. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I've dra dragged Elmo in. Elmo, hi. Um, you weren't on the stream as much this race, uh, but I'm sure you had lots of action going on. You always do. Yep. Uh, tell us about your race. Uh, I didn't end up backwards this time, that's just first. Well, yeah, you finished um, relatively uh, yeah, I, uh, towards the point yet. Binned it into the gravel once and lost two, three places, but... Was that at the start right. when everyone went off, or was that somewhere else? No, that was about half, well, half, three quarters of the way through on... I can never remember what the corner is, the fast, really fast chicane after the back straight on the exit. Okay, it kind of breaks up the back straight. Uh, yeah. I don't know what we call that. I don't know what we call that. I just think it's the, I guess it's the chicane on the back straight from now on. <laughs> uh, can't remember the turn number. I guess it would be it's turn four. If we had to pick one. If you don't count the little, the little tiny corners, the, the, the barely yeah, moving the wheel corners Yeah, if you, if you count the, track, the chicane as one corner. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, it's one, turn four. Two, yeah, pretty much. It seems quite a long way around the lap to be turn four, let's be honest, but until yeah. someone makes a proper track map, or I open one. I will head into our Discord. Brilliant. Good luck. Thanks, Silver. Speak to you after the next race. Uh, yeah. yeah, Elmo, a uh, couple of minutes left before the start of the next race. You'll be starting probably around the middle. Probably yep. in 18th place, I guess. Did you? Where did you finish? 22nd-ish? I seem to remember. 20, 20th. 20th, okay, so you'll be starting 20th. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah well, as long as I do the same again, I'm alright. Yeah, just... <laughs> Another 12 places. <laughs> nice and consistent in the middle. Um, Alright, well, I'll let you go. Uh, right. Chat to me after the next one. Uh, yep. Hope to see you in 20th or higher. <laughs> Hopefully. Have a good yeah, have fun. Cheers. Okay, so we have a bit of a break uh, before the second race, the reverse grid race. 40 cars again, I'm told. Yeah, there's 40 cars on the track. So another really interesting race about to unfold um, another, another eight laps we'll have Zeban trying to work his way through from the back with the likes of TJ um, and Jay Catilla with Adam and the Yes Motorsport guys working their way through from the back so we need to keep an eye on those guys to see how far through they can make it can they keep out of trouble um, only time will tell uh, with everyone in a different order, it's always going to throw up lots and lots and lots of uh, interesting uh, opportunities for people when the drivers that didn't do so well start higher up. They might be able to get a break, they might be able to get away and grab some all important points for the championship. Uh, we'll head back to the track and get ready for the start of race two. Which will be getting underway any minute now.
Just waiting for some people to join the track. A couple of people left to join. And then we will be racing. Here we go. Eskimas and Rocky will be starting on the front row. And Zeban has somehow started ahead of Katilla, although I think that is the other way around. Yes, I think Rocky is currently on pole. On a... No, uh, is he? I can't work this out. Eskimas. Okay, my, my race order is slightly confused, but it does look like Eskimas is on pole, followed by Ayub, and Rocky is behind somewhere. Yes, Rocky is behind with Koivinen in fourth. Off we go then. Eskimas followed by Ayub. And we are racing for race two of round 11 of the TRR 2020 Championship. We've already got cars off. Roni needs to be careful when he rejoins here. He's hit the wall uh, behind. Uh, hopefully people avoid each other here. Keep it clean, guys. Uh, everyone's filing out. That's a bit of body banging. Into turn one. We've got someone off in the grass. That is Erotica in the gravel. Uh, who else is off? We've got Roni still trying to recover. That's Zeban. Zeban's had a terrible start. Uh, Zeban all the way down in 36 then. Um, not a good start from him at all. Meanwhile, at the front, we've got Ayub, who is currently leading Koivin and Eskimas. Eskimas contact with Koivin and Koivin half spins. He's going to have to get it back in the road. He collides, rejoining with Firexter. He's spinning off down to turn two. That's Elmo, who's had a hell of a start. Elmo's up to sixth. He's currently pointing in the wrong direction, but gets going again. Uh, Simjintas flies past him. That's Upsas, who's made an absolutely mega start. Upsas started down in the 30s, already up to eighth place. Seventh place now, in fact. Uh, Simjintas follows him down with Elmo side by side. Uh, that's uh, Gustas. Gustas goes up the inside of all three of them. Uh, both of them, sorry. Wow, good move there from Gustas up to eighth place. This is what I was mentioning about the reverse grid format. Some of the drivers who are starting, um, who finish lower down, get to show their colours. Uh, Gustas is on an absolute move here. He's flown past um, Firexter and he's now up with Upsus. He's up to, uh, Upsus is up to fifth in this race. Uh, so a podium is on the cards. Upsus, if he finishes this race high, might end up being the points winner from this round. Absolutely incredible start from Upsus there. Um, Eskimus out front with MRC Michael in second, followed by J.A. Catilla. Then it's T. Paulson. Upsus, as I mentioned. Then it's Gustus behind. And Elmo is currently holding eighth, up from 20th. Uh, G. Pete in ninth, then it's Reject from Born to Race, then it's Gabor, and then a big gaggle of cars. We've got TJ followed by Rick Cardell, Unite's in there, Magic's in there, Mandula's involved. Then we've got Simjintas and Energy, the teammates, uh, followed by Classic. There's two WCL drivers next to each other, that's Jay Catilla and Koivinen. Trespass is in the mix there, Trespass are making his way past Jay Catilla. This is unreal at the back. Um, all of that carnage at the beginning has just meant that these guys have just gaggled together now. And this is where the racing's happening. Uh, if you haven't already noticed, uh, that is a lot of crunching metal coming out of the last chicane. Let's just go on board. Let's see what's going on in this battle um, with some of these people. Let's go on board with Roni. He seems to be getting involved in every single bit of action. So three wide, nearly four wide ahead. It is now four wide ahead. That is an NRT car of S Silver making his way up the inside. Uh, of uh, Ben opts to back off a little bit. We've got Roni going optimistic around the outside. Oh, careful. Somebody's cell car nearly dropped its wheel on the grass. Let's go back on board with Roni. Roni's going to watch all this unfold. There's a big crash three way between Coy. Oh my goodness me. That was Zeban involved in that, I think. Uh, was Zeban involved? I don't know who was involved. We've got people crashing into the pit lane entrance. Uh, yeah, this is a nightmare at the back. Just too many cars uh, being too aggressive at the start of this race. That's basically what you end up with. Uh, unfortunately, that's Firexter. He's all the way down. Uh, Erotica was in the wall, I think. No. Was it Mega? It was Mega. Mega was the big loser out of all of that. Um, yeah, we'll go, we'll, we'll go back through the replay at the end of the race and, and clean all this up and work out who was who was doing what. But back to the action for now. 
Uh, this this kind of mid-pack battle has definitely thinned out and calmed down a bit. Zeban's made it up to 19th place. Uh, Zeban's now chasing after Roni. Roni coming a cropper and witnessing those three cars spinning out ahead of him. Zeban's going to be easily passed here. Goes late on the brakes into the hairpin. Uh, Roni kind of tries to hold him around the outside but doesn't manage it. Roni's now under threat from J.A. Catilla up into the sweepers. Uh, it's really hard to follow through the sweepers. Uh, you've got limited downforce because of the car in front punching a hole in the air and removing all of that lovely stationary air for you to push through. Uh, it's great on the straights, it's not great around the corners, especially not in sector 2 at AS5 and not into the definitely not into the first part of sector 3 which they're coming to now. Roni goes very wide and just kind of lets J.A. Cotilla just drive around him. Um, very weird. Uh, Roni going especially wide out there so not the best exit. We've got four cars involved in a scrap ahead. Zeban's involved in this one. Let's see on board. Uh, he's currently alongside uh, Magic Contact with Trespasser and he forces his way through. So Zeban now in a battle with Pedro. So these two were first and second uh, at the start of last race, respectively. Zeban on pole, Pedro was in second. But now roles are reversed. It's Pedro ahead of Zeban. Pedro in 15th, Zeban in 16th. Um, Zeban just outside the slipstream, so he'll have to wait. Uh, meanwhile, behind with his three wide action going on. These guys never learn, do they? It's Trespasser in the middle. He's sandwiched between J.A. Uh, that's Jay Catilla, sorry, and Magic. Magic ends up filing into the back. Uh, we have Trespasser and Jay Catilla still side by side. As um, Magic's coming back at them, actually. Uh, this, this is really interesting. Let's go on board. So, Trespasser goes on the grass a little bit. Ooh, nearly wobbles into Magic. Magic has to bail and goes on the grass, has to break a bit. Now Roni's going to go past with Koivinen. Goodness me, I'm not going to be able to breathe after this. Uh, Koivinen and Magic now together. Let's go on board with Koivinen and watch this unfold. This is going to be amazing down the back straight. There's going to be a heck of a toe battle going on here. Koivinen with a dreadful exit, though. Um, Magic similarly with a bad exit. Uh, Trespasser wasn't able to keep on the back of Jay Catilla. Uh, Pedro has been passed by Zeban then, so he missed that. And Zeban makes his way towards Simjintas. Zeban's made it up to 15th position. Uh, let's run down the order real quick. Uh, three Schemas, Eskimas, Car 99, whatever you want to call him, is in first place currently, followed by, yes, Motorsport, Upsas, and Michael Malek from MRC. Then it's WCL, J.A. Catilla, then it's Thomas Paulson from NRT, followed by his teammate, G. Gavin Pete, in sixth place. Then it's G.G. Gustas, followed by TJ, who's had a good start, and Unite, similarly, with a good, good start. Upsas finished the last race in, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say fourth, I think. He's up to second, so Upsas, absolutely brilliant start. He's managed to get higher than he started, higher than he finished in the last race already, having started way down the order. Uh, and it does look like he's gaining on Eskimos quite quickly here, so he could take the lead. Anyway, back to the order. Uh, Unite, his teammate, is down in ninth. He's currently sizing up Gustas and TJ. Let's go on board. Someone's been through the tyres, but uh, Unite didn't manage to get a great exit, so those guys ahead are going to have the run on him into turn one. Unite will start to come back at Gustas into the late stages of the braking zone. He moves to the inside on Gustas. Goes out on the brakes and makes the move. Can he hold it on the exit? Does look like he can. And it looks like he might be all over TJ actually for turn two. The gap might be a bit big. I think it is a bit big. I think that's quite a stretch to think he can make that this lap. But anyway, still plenty of exciting racing to look forward to because we're only five laps in here. Uh, let's see what's happening at the front. Upsas is going to be getting past Eskimos any minute now. You can just feel it. Uh, Eskimo started on pole and has led for three laps. 
but now it's the turn of Upsas, who's come all the way from the back, from around about 35th, 36th place on the grid, and he's going to want a bite of that cherry. He's going to take, make the move into the corner that breaks up the back straight, turn four, and makes the move for the lead of this race. Uh, runs a bit wide onto the grass, but that won't matter. Uh, Eskimus down to second, Michael still in third. He's been followed by J.A. Cotilla. Then it's Thomas Paulson and Gevin. Uh, there's a move going on behind between TJ and Unite then. Unite round the outside of TJ. He tries to make the cutback, but there's a, Gusta uh, there's a TJ in the way. And now Gustas is having a go. Gustas on the inside of Unite. Unite's been caught napping. Uh, side by side. <sighs> nice. They didn't make any contact. Um, Gustav's still on the outside, but we'll have to yield to Unite in the end. Uh, Rick Cardle watching all of this unfold. He's got on board. Unite getting all out of shape ahead. Rick's going to have the draft, but Gustav's, Gustav's taking a very, very shallow line. Won't have as much draft, so Rick Cardle's just going to be able to sweep straight up to the back of him. He's lifting. Rick's waiting, he's waiting to make the move, he doesn't want to give Gustas the draft again, so he's just waiting, picking his moment to move to the inside and send it into the hairpin, so very tactical there from Rick, not wanting to give Gustas any help, but it doesn't matter how hard Rick tries, Gustas is going to have the mother of all slipstreams down the back straight, so let's see how this goes for them, let's go on board with Gustas then, let's see if he gets a good exit, he does not, so Rick will survive. Rick moves up to 11th place for Sidus. Very nice driving from Rick there. Uh, very tactical. Um, got a couple of guys back together. Uh, Cyan is involved. Uh, we've got Kryn who's following Cyan. Kryn's going to want to make the move up the home straight. Bit of a wobble. Uh, Kryn is following Cyan in Classic. So this is a TRR sandwich. Cyan moves to the inside of Classic. Classic also gets overtaken by Crid now, so Classic absolutely mugged by the draft on the back straight. Classic, if he tucks into the draft, might be able to make the move on the second straight. He's definitely dropped back a bit too far for that to be a thing, so it's now a battle between Cyan and Crin. This battle for 25th. Crin on the inside for turn two. Cyan making the switch back, not quite, spooks Kryn on the brakes a little bit there and eventually makes the move stick, so the TRR teammates back together again. Kryn makes a late move there to try and spook Cyan again. Kryn having all sorts of fun with the sideways nature of this car, but you don't want to be burning your tyres up on lap four, there's still four laps to go of this sprint race. We've got someone off in the gravel that is a rescue car i did not realize there was one i have been very surprised uh who is that that's oh it's deco deco's joined and has surprised me by just hi deco anyway Upsas currently leading the way uh i thought deco was a uh, crashed car it turns out he's just joined the server and has parked up as a rescue car if anyone goes off so that's nice of him uh bit unexpected michael is sizing up uh eskimos now so there's going to be a move on into the hairpin, no doubt. Uh, Michael is going to absolutely munch through Eskimos into the hairpin. He moves to the outside, so this is going to be a more tricky move than it would have been if he'd gone for the inside. He's going to have to do all the work around the outside. Eskimos can go as late as he wants. Contact, yep, yeah, Eskimos forces him wide. This opens the door for J.A. Cotilla to have a go. J.A. Cotilla will now be alongside uh, Michael. to the last chicane, needs a good exit, hasn't had the good exit and Michael's just been left to run away now. Uh, that's left Paulson with an opportunity, Paulson's going to be straight past here, needed to wait a bit maybe because he's going to give Catilla a bit of draft if he ends up getting past. Um, Catilla on the inside then for the first corner. T Paulson, Thomas Paulson from NRT on the outside, is Paulson yielding a bit? Yes he is. Uh, just lets Catilla take his natural line. So if Paulson had been a bit more patient there, maybe he could have made the move stick. Uh, he's been dropped back into the path, um, into the path of his teammate then, Gavin. 
who's going to have a bit of a toe. Maybe not as much as I thought, but a bit of a toe up to the next corner. TJ and United are still really close together here, uh, but United has not managed to overcome TJ yet. This is starting to bunch up at the front, isn't it? We've got uh, the whole lead, the whole top ten are really bunching up. And Zeban from the back, even though he was involved in that collision, uh, that incident at turn one a few laps ago, as Eskimus goes off, Eskimus, our pole sitter, has just flown off. Zeban up to ninth. Uh, Zeban from the back of the grid up to tenth place. Upsas currently leads. But Zeban is at the back of this grid now. So let's go on board with Zeban and see how he works through this pack. It's inevitable. He's come from the back and he's now in amongst this top 10 battle. First, it's going to be Rick Cardle ahead that he needs to try and get past. As we have a big contact between Unite, Unite's been absolutely sent off as everyone tries to avoid him in the background. Uh, didn't quite see how that happened, but I'm sure we'll get into it. So, three positions for Zeban then. Uh, Zeban's now going to be. Up the inside of Rick, quite. Oh goodness me, that was close. Uh, let's watch this from this angle again. So Zeman up to eighth. Unite out of the picture. He's down in thirteenth now, battling with his other teammate Trespasser, who occupies fourteenth. Uh, Zeban with the ties he's got left, has got to try and make up as many positions to get as many points out of here. Fantastic line through the uh, last corner in sector two over the split point side by side with Rick he will go um, still side by side in fact who's going to be the last of the late breakers into turn one uh, into the last corner sorry not this time he'll have to wait for the straight will he back off or will he just send it he backs off a bit, gives himself a bit of space, makes sure he gets the right line, and then absolutely pins it. Rick got a really nice exit though, and he'll be all over the back of um, T. Paulson. He moves to the outside of T. Paulson. Zeban's going to have a monstrous draft on Thomas Paulson though. Uh, or not, because Rick's just given it one, so that hasn't helped at all. That hasn't helped Zeban at all. Uh, Gave a little bit too much coming into the last chicane. Rick's going to tag T. Paulson and somehow they haven't gone off, but Zeban has just gone, thank you, I'll take those two positions from you, and he's gone straight past. So in the end, Rick was helpful to Zeban. He now drops back to ninth behind Pedro. Uh, Paulson drops behind Zeban, so Zeban up to sixth then. Nice that we saw all that unfold. TJ is on the back of J.A. Cotilla. NRT going to get some good points out of this race. Uh, yes, Motorsport also, so the gap at the top of the table is going to be opening up even more after this race to World Class Lions and Team Up Racing. Mind you, there is a WCL guy. We've got J.A. Cotilla in amongst the pack here, and also Zeban, who is you gotta, you got to say, in the two laps that remain, or one lap after this, uh, it's going to end up with a fair haul of points. Uh, he, If he gets one more position, he will definitely have the highest point score of the round. In fact, he already has the highest point score of the round because there's fewer points awarded for race two. Upsas can't go any further than first, uh, and he finished the last race in fourth, or I think it was fourth, just off the podium. Michael's dropped back a bit from uh, Upsas now. It's G, G Pete's time to catch up with Michael. TJ is being caught by Zeban, so who's lost it? Zeban's gained a free position. We missed that. Uh, it must have been Catilla, yeah. Um, Catilla must have had a bit of a wobble or something. Uh, Zeban up to fifth, and he's about to be up to fourth. Off he goes around TJ. There's no stopping him. He's absolutely on fire. He's got this combination down to a T. He's just... He's making it look easy. Careful, TJ. TJ's sending it back on Z-Ban. It's perfectly entitled to, just as long as he keeps it clean. Uh, Z-Ban up to fourth then. Can a podium... Can Z-Ban get a podium out of this race? Z-Ban keeping well out of... Uh, TJ's way, he doesn't want to give him any slipstream because he doesn't want TJ coming back at him, but 
I reckon TJ will. TJ will at least have a look into turn one. Zeban has to go defensive. He does. TJ might be around the outside. There might be nothing he can do about this. Side by side they go. And ultimately, Zeban will keep the position. So onwards for Zeban we go. Will TJ have a go at him again into turn two? Yeah, I think so. So TJ didn't didn't ruin his line that much into the first corner. Will he have a send? Thinks about it, but nope. Now Zeban just needs to ignore the fact that there's a road appraiser driver in his mirror and focus ahead, get a good exit. And it looks like he's going to because the two ahead are squabbling. Michael's doing his best to hold up G. Pete, but it's going to be in vain. Uh, G. Pete around the outside. Now Michael's next on the menu for Zeban and TJ. TJ on the grass. Oh, TJ having a wobble. TJ, keep it, keep it under control. Oh, not happy with Zeban, but honestly, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to watch all this back. This is unreal. Zeban is going to have a send on Michael. Here he goes up to third. Nicely on the brakes. Can he get second? It's the last lap. One more car conceivably on the menu for Zeban, and that is G Pete. Let's watch it unfold. There's been a crash in the background. Michael's involved. Um, Michael is involved in that. There was a WCL car spinning off of J.A. Cotilla. So we missed a big crash, but this is where it's at. This is the battle between G Pete and Zeban on the last lap for second place. Zeban just in draft range. It's all going to come down to the hairpin and the last chicane. Zeban making tiny gains here. He's going to have to go super late on the brakes and get him on the exit. Here he goes. Here he comes. Gavin gets a bit wide. Zeban needs to get a good exit. He does. This is going to be so close. GP needs to focus focus ahead, get a good exit through the chicane. Here they come then. It's oh, it's close. It's going to be close. Here comes Zeban. Here comes Zeban. He's just ahead. Zeban's done it. Second place goes to Zeban on the final lap. Incredible race from Zeban. Upsas wins, followed by. Zeban, G. Pete, Pedro, J. Cotilla does in fact come across the line, so it wasn't him involved in the incident with, uh, who was it involved in the incident? Michael. Michael crosses the line in 16th place. Wow, what an incredible, incredible race. I will run down, you the, f uh, run down the full order uh, once we have all of the drivers confirmed across the line. Uh, lots to cover in the after race chat. Um, We'll get a few drivers in here for an interview, I am sure. And then on the stream, we will run through a few of the larger incidents that took place during that race, uh, of which there were plenty on the opening laps. Uh, we'll go back to race one to begin with and work through from there. Wow. Uh, a bit messy at the end, got to say. Uh, nice bit of a surprise to see Deco sat in the middle of the track. He gave me a bit of a panic for a moment because I thought someone was off. But anyway, thanks for that. Um, yeah, let's quickly run down the final order of racing then. Um, Upsas wins ahead of Zeban, G. Pete, Pedro, J. E. Cotilla, Rick Cardell in 6th, then it's Reject uh, in 7th, T. Paulson in 8th, Yes Motorsport Unite finished in 9th, having had a bit of a yo-yo race. Then it's Koivinen from WCL in 10th. Gustas dropped down a bit to 11th. Then Gemini, Trespasser, Roni, TJ, Michael, Jake Attila, uh, Frank, uh, Ben and Mandula round out the top 20. Then it's Erotica, Simjintas, Classic, Energy, Iver, Firexter, Soini, Elmo, Magic, Rocky and Kryn rounds out the 31 drivers that finished. So somewhere in that mess, uh, Elmo has ended up down in 28th. He was in the top 5, maybe top top 10 at one point uh, after a very very good start but it's all come undone for him at the end uh, let's drag in silver hi silver hi um you do not appear on my list of finishes no i speak to, i speak to yeah what what happened to you 
Nah, I got... I don't know. Uh, I got some info that it was my fault, but I don't feel it was my fault and stuff. And I got into the wall and then I tried to drive, but total damaged car in the front there. So when I tried to steer and stuff, it just understeered and I popped uh, both front tires after like six laps or something. You popped them? Okay, wow. Impressive. Yes. Yeah, so, so two huts. Yeah. Um, I'm going to run through the. Uh, the replay on stream. I'm just going to drag Elmo in. Elmo, what happened to you at the end of the race? Uh, in the middle of the race. Two problems. Yes. You know that corner I went off last time. I uh, went off differently this time. So same same corner. I got same... a really nice run through, but got a bit of oversteer on the exit and binned it into the wall. Same corner, same problem, I guess. Um, Similar problem. Lack of practice. Oh yeah, 25 minutes. Yeah, I, I did well. For 25 yeah, minutes. very good. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to do a bit of a review of the start of the race on the stream. So I'm just going to switch back to oh. the game and we'll have a bit of interesting drama for yeah. you guys. So let's see what happened at the start then. This is race one. This is race one. We'll start off with race one and we'll okay, see okay. the incidents that happened in turn three. It was quite a way down the order. Um, so we'll see what happens. It was such a great start though, I think it's worth watching again because everyone was seriously clean away. Uh, really impressive from everybody, basically. Oops. Jay Katilla got, uh, got a very early lead. Everyone really clean behind. But then, sooner or later, in the background somewhere, something went very wrong. So let's see what happened. It was up into the um, complex at the top of the lap. So we'll wait around here for what goes down. Uh, slow it down. There's already something going off in the background. Here we go, there's Frank taking out Kryn. Frank took out Kryn and then Koivin and smashed into Ko Oh my goodness, Kryn and then Koivin's rolled it. Alright, so it happened before turn three. It was already kicking off before turn three. Uh, oh! Yeah, so Koivin has been rolled by... Let's go back and watch that again. Yeah, I felt a touch in there, but I didn't think... So here we go. Happened. Here we go, Let's slow it down even further. So... Silver and Frank come together. You and you and Frank came together. That caused all this. So Frank spins into Kryn. Kryn's a, a passenger at this point, and he's going to come across, and Koivinen's going to get caught. Koivinen's going to spear across into Paulson, get rolled. Roni's on the grass. So this is how Roni ends up being on the grass. Roni's going to skittle ball into Ayub and reject. Yep, there we go. So Roni takes out the two B2R teammates. Meanwhile... Koivinen's doing some aerobatics in the middle of the track still. That's Ayub and Reject's race over. Uh, Reject on the gravel. Um, Reject was already off before Roni came Krin's, through. There. Krin's sliding back into the road, so Krin's now going to become a roadblock for Paulson. Everyone doing very well to slow down. Magic gets pincered into Elmo. And I only saw Ron, they're just flying over. Just in front of me. I was so scared there. Yeah, so uh, R Roni somehow ends up backwards here, having ended up going across the grass further backwards. So, what happened after he, he hit Reject? straight through, I think. They so, didn't hit Reject. Reject already yeah, Reject was, Reject was already sideways. spinning. And then he gets tagged by Silver, Michael, Catilla, Gustas, and just decides to just roll backwards onto the gravel, which is probably the sensible option at that point. So, that was the drama that unfolded at the beginning of race. One. I don't remember any other big incidents like that in race one. Uh, Michael very clearly unhappy about all that, not surprisingly. Ruined his day. Uh, let's watch that back once more at full speed and then we can move on to race two. What a 
Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go to the second race replay then. Love that car. So what went down in race two? Where was the accident in race two? Uh, I'm trying to remember um, back now. Sorry to interrupt, uh, but there was another big accident in race one uh, on the back straight right before the hairpin, actually. And I had to dodge cars left and right and center, we were flying everywhere. We'll watch the start of race two. Uh, trying to remember, yeah, there was a few. There were a few incidents on, on lap one in race two. So let's see how that happened. It was all. It all. It all oh, happened not, not very, very quickly. There was. There was a bit of incident off the line, as far as I remember. So we'll slow it down immediately and start to unravel what happened. So there we go. This is what I was thinking. Crin and Roni already together with Rocky at the beginning of race two. Roni on the grass again. He's not had a great day, and then he rejoins. Uh, there's something going off with Soini in the background with Frank. Soini into the wall. So he's yeah. Here come Roni and Crin back across the road into the path of. There's a bridge in my way now. Thank you, bridge. <laughs> oh goodness me. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, so Roni gets tagged by Ivor. At, oh, goodness me. It's a bloody bridge. Right. Let's wait for him to come under the bridge. Uh, and then it's okay. Ivor's still having a friends with the wall. It's another bridge. Mandula on the grass. Silver on the grass. And then Cyan comes across for whatever reason and spins out. <laughs> this is going to get bad, isn't it? Let's have a look. Let's uh, see what happened here. So Cyan here gets tagged by Reject. So Reject, for whatever reason, decided he was going to have a have a bite out of Cyan's rear. Tags Simjintas, spins. Tags Erotica, spins. Tags Michael. <laughs> Michael had no luck I in wondered this race. where everyone went. Uh, yeah, this, the race separated into two battles. Um, here's Z-Bands. This, this is where Z-Bands uh, day went from. Got a bit worse, so... Yeah, so Cyan's in the wall, Z-Band's rear-ending Unite, so these two basically end up driving the whole race through the pack together. So that's the start of Z-Band's race. Then there's a... Okay, Crin's facing the wrong way. We've got Ben also over here facing the wrong way. How did this happen? So here's Ben. Ben's going to get tagged by Mandula. Yeah, so Ben tagged by Mandula. Gavin, Silver. Silver's in, involved in everything. Look at this, right? Yoink. Silver's just like, no, I'm just gonna, yeah. Okay, so Ben's now backwards. Uh, you so don't Crin... know how many times I needed to break. Hi, Crin. <laughs> okay. Let's, go. Let's see where Crin is. Crin, there's Ben. Here's Crin. Crin got tagged by Gemini, and you just kind of spin, and then Rick goes past, and then Roni's like, yeah. Oh, and then Z-Ban crashes into Roni. Mega's off again. Z-Ban starts his pursuit of the lead. Remember that Zivan finished this race in second and look where he currently yeah. is. I mean this is un this is unreal. The speed <coughs> sorry. The speed let's not, not forget let, let's let's by the way not look how classic ended up into the Carol Tramber. Let's please not look at it. <laughs> Alright let's definitely look at that. Let's see <laughs> Where did Classic end up in the uh, gravel track? In the first corner yeah let's look in the first corner that is but Okay, back <laughs> we go. I might have had an oopsie in the first corner. I missed it. I, I was bunched up with my entire team together, and uh, I was trying to leave them all space, but then I just Oh, lovely. Yeah. yeah. I got re by Texas, you see that, there, that therefore I go white, and I go to the It's good, good teamwork. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Teammates. <laughs> Yoink. Alright, and then there was a big incident further on, I think, at some point. Maybe down well, here. One as well, actually, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll check out the race one back yeah, straight. Around, in a around bit. here. Uh, yeah, it's around, around here, here that the problem occurred, I think, yeah. in this race. Actually, uh, race one yeah, there. There you go. There's, there's Elmo getting mugged again. Elmo sends uh, energy off into the gravel. Uh, into Guess who's in this? Guess who is in this also? There we go. There's Frank. Oh my goodness me. Oh, yeah, I remember this. What I is going on? <laughs> I remember only seeing Trespass's side door. 
and made so, from... Here we go, so there's an incident with Abe, Eskimos and Koivinen at the start. Koivinen's gonna get sent again. Koivinen is the... What?! Koivinen is racing, like, he's so... He got absolutely mugged in these two races. Um, he got flipped twice in two races. Alright, so... Yeah, this is just bad. Sky, Sky's rejoined there. Sky's rejoined there is really bad. Straight into his teammate as well. I oh, know it's not his teammate, it's a different team. Uh, watch Sky here. Yeah, what's happened there? That's what I want to Sky's like, oh, I'll just drive back onto the track in front of everybody. So that kills TJ, Silver, Gemini, and Unite. Yeah, that's really bad driving from Sky Look there. at me kissing Trespasser there now. Oh yeah, you're off over here. But what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Here comes Z-Ban! <laughs> no, no, Z-Ban's just like, yoink! Absolutely <laughs> sends it. This is horrible. Um, okay, let's watch that again. This is horrible. I like it. I want more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Please, no. Oh, God. No. Bringing up bad memories like that. It's not nice. Maybe hit and follow on the cards, Pete? I know, I know. Hang on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Then on the bridge. <laughs> this guy there, Sky just ruins everything there. And then it's just. This. <laughs> Who's that reversing? Silver reversing onto the track in front of everybody. And then the, and the Frank driving into his teammate. The RDSR, yeah, Frank. Did he actually just deliberately drive into his teammate? Mm, don't think so, but gosh, it's covering in a way. So here's Frank. <laughs> oh, Jesus yep. Frank. <laughs> yep, <laughs> just drives and then Soidy's there as well. Okay, brilliant. Both. Amazing. Right, anything else from race two? I, I hope not. That was enough, I think. <laughs> Apparently. Did something happen on this screen as well? Yeah, Unite happened there, but that was late. He only hit to the door of Paulson and then spawn. Here's Unite. No, no, it's uh, way later. Way later? It's like, yeah, yeah. It was there, there was an incident on the last lap I wanted to check out. Uh, between Unite and um, someone. Uh, was it Unite? It was on the last lap, that was for sure, because we were looking back at it. Uh, it was Catilla, baby, Catilla. It was Catilla, wasn't it? Yes, let's fast forward through this. I know because I listened to the commentary during the race, so. <laughs> uh, it was around about uh, the, the this corner here. Where things went a bit awry. So speed up and then slow down. Here we go. So side by side they go. Yeah, boing. It was it wasn't J. A. Catilla, it was Michael and TJ that came together oh, on the last one. Yeah, Catilla, last it there too. We were watching the rear view camera of G Pete and that's when we saw these these two crash out out of the but podium position on the last lap. I mean come on. The, the earlier round. The earlier round. Uh, Catilla went after. <coughs> okay. The same place. He he it's he uh, fighted with Gavin. No, I like it for sure. Yep. It's oh, yeah. so dangerous <laughs> to drive Absolutely. side by side with them. It's so dangerous. Michael's luck run out there. Shame. Ooh, he's gonna, is he gonna Ooh. enjoy it. Oh, oh. 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 Unite, Unite. Oh. Unite. Oh, I'm supposed to recover, and then he moves out of the way. Yeah. Wow. If you want to see Catilla's crash, it's seventh lap, I think. I want to go back to race one. Uh, what was this incident you were on about, Rocky? Uh, it's, 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 you know, the, 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 the hairpin before the last chicane and everything? The hairpin the before the last chicane on lap one? Yeah, on lap one, the, the, the big straight, let's say the, the bent straight before that, before I had been. Who, should, who should we watch the start on board? Should we watch the start from Rocky uh, at the back? Here we go. I would, I, I would watch with Roni actually, but yeah, all with me. Roni, also... alright, well we can watch from Roni. Use, use fine, we'll watch from you. We'll watch okay. your start, here we go. 
<laughs> was it a good Actually, start? I was involved in two incidents on the first lap, so... Was it a good start? No. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's just looking forward for no room. <laughs> this car is all over the place. It's amazing. I mean, this is fantastic. We got a full grid. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, this is great. Let's see how this goes. Rocky, very cautious. He's got about five car lengths in front of him. Yep. Needs it, needs it for what's about to happen, yeah. <laughs> first it goes wrong at, 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 the, at the first half, and then I, I just got to guess. It was a very, the... very clean first two corners, and then it just all went to hell. Yes, it is. And how? It's like, <laughs> like everyone was like, okay, we've done the first two corners, let's just <laughs> drive. And then all hell breaks loose. So I just see a massive <laughs> right, so I'll just there. drive on the grass. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. They say you cut the course. Okay. And then. This is not eye racing. I am. Oh no, not that sound. Uh, how many <laughs> positions did you make? On that. But about the time, but I also also gave them all back uh, here. here. As you'll okay. see soon. You lifted. Yeah, I let people through because I cut the course. Yeah. Okay. And he was fast anyway, because I have some reason I had no pace at all, so I was just gonna finish. You but need then, to um, give the time back. Hyper speed! That means you actually want to zoom back in because it's soon about to happen, the big incident, so. <laughs> the beginning of the first lap, actually, I drew past, and then I tried to block Frank, he's not happy. <laughs> so I passed as well. Alright, where's the incident? Last uh, hairpin uh, with who? With uh, who? Everybody. Basically. Everybody, okay. We just, just rally across the tech team. Though. Rocky, it looks like you were having some fundamental car control issues. Yes, yes. I didn't practice. <laughs> basically, it's all about to unfold right now. Oh. Or. That happens. Yes, this corner. Basically, straight before here, yes. There you go. But it's actually already on the bend, so... So is it this bend here-ish? Between, between here and the... Oh, yeah, we'll just there. see, we'll see. We can always go back in the replay. If something happened here, then, then a lot of them were further back, further back. Because had to dodge like 10 cars or so, 5 or 10 cars. Yeah, there it is. I can see it on the mini-map. Oh, damn! Oh. There goes Rocky through there? the middle. Ta -da 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 -da. Thank you! <laughs> I already started the corner before. Yeah. Between oh. these f five cars. <laughs> okay. Okay, so even before. <laughs> okay, this was a multi corner accident. Here's Rocky. <laughs> What happened? Were it four white? Fire extra and Ayub. Oh! And then another <laughs> contact between the... T These two couldn't keep out of each other's way, could they, at all, this race? <laughs> took each other out at turn... Well, Roni took them both out at turn... at the... turn three hairpin. And and Michael! Look, oh. Michael, like, plows into it. Look, Michael, Michael plows into it, and I'm just like, la la, casually breaking. <laughs> you could have seen this from watch the brake, watch the brake, watch the brake, watch the brake on the bottom right. Yeah. Oh, I, no, there was no brakes, it was just lifting. <laughs> oh, he was I just leaving the steering wheel, baby. <laughs> Roni's off in the wall. Okay, anyway. He, he's the grass man. Chaos, <laughs> chaos, absolute chaos. Um. All right, I better wrap up. Thanks, guys. Uh, next week's combo is the XRG at SO5 Town Course for... Uh, is it eight laps? Was it 12 laps? I can't remember. It's some laps. Uh, uh, it's SO5. 12. 12 laps. 
that's quite that's going to be quite a lot of racing that's going to be good xrg uh so a rear wheel drive gti car at south city town course um eight o'clock utc nine o'clock cet tuesday uh see you then thanks for watching thanks rocky thanks guys yeah thank you, and thank you. <laughs> see you later bye